What's up everybody, welcome back to the Cool Figures channel. If you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, unboxing them, analyzing them, and of course, playing with them. I try to upload new videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so check back on those days to see if I've uploaded a new video, or just hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. The information on the channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. As always, I am your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, and today, I have for you guys the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Beskar Armor Mandalorian. And guys, this guy is phenomenal. Um, for the most part, he's a repack, repaint of the first version, except for a few pieces here and there that they had to re-sculpt to make it, you know, look like the new armor. But he is still an amazing figure nonetheless, uh, and I could not be happier to have him. It took me a while to find him, but I finally did, and uh, here he is. Um, I will bring in the old version later on in the video to show some comparison shots, um, you know, side by side, so you guys can see um, the differences between the two. Uh, but honestly, guys, I am super happy to have both. Uh, they're both amazing figures, and I don't know what it is about that first version of the Mandalorian, but it is just the most poseable and articulate. Uh, figure that I own in general like not just in black series it's just it's so the joints are just so they're not loose they're firm but they they move so easily and he can just pose very well like almost all of his body just is articulate articulated and um, you know you can just get him in some really cool poses uh, just like this guy he's very well articulated as well um, but he just looks amazing with his new upgraded armor, in my opinion. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and look at the accessories. So first off, we're gonna look at his rifle. So let's pull it off of him. So it is much like the first version, except it is much more painted. Like right here, it's not silver, it's all black. I think might be replaced with Beskar. I don't know. Um, we'll have to see in the second season because the first season doesn't really show it too well. Um, who else is excited for the second season of Mandalorian? Hey, if you're excited for the second season of The Mandalorian, leave a like and leave a comment. And let's talk about it in the comments because I am super excited. I cannot wait for it to come out. Um, let's go back to the figure now. Uh, so his second accessory, if I can get it out is whoops pulled that off too his blaster pistol so this one is all obviously the same as the first mando but they did paint the handle whereas i don't believe in the first one they did let me see i have a figure right here okay so in the first figure the handle is black and in this one it's brown um, I think the brown looks a lot better on it. Just contrasts a lot better with that silver. Um, so yeah, there's the pistol. Same one, same mold basically, just, oops, sorry, different colored handle. So, and the final accessory that he came with is his jetpack. All painted one color, very plain, but in the Mandalorian it is a, just a plain jetpack. You know, he kind of just gets it on real quick. I do like that there are holes here, so if you do want to put some, you know, uh, fire effects, flame effects, uh, you can. Uh, but yeah, overall, but you know, even though it's just plain in terms of color, it is very well detailed in terms of everything else. If you look, there's lines, there's crevices, there's little details in it. So overall, a very good chat pack in my opinion. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Mando himself. See what I did there? <laughs> but, all right, so, let me see, get his arm down. Oops, sorry again, hit the camera. So, looking at him, his helmet is the same as the last one, but it has no dirt. It's all clean and shiny because of the, of the new Beskar. Um, looking at his chest piece, it is brand new. That's a new piece. Uh, his gauntlet on his left arm is new because he has the Whistling Birds or the Birds of Prey. I can't remember which um, name. I think it's Whistling Birds, but um, I cannot be sure. I know with Birds of Prey or DC and whatnot. 
this leg right here, the right leg, is basically the same as the original uh, figure, whereas the right leg is uh, brand new uh, armor on his thigh, at least. And so looking at him, he's very well detailed. The paint apps are pretty good. Um, nothing much to complain about. Um, my favorite part is this new um, mud horn insignia that they placed on his uh, shoulder right here. The camera ever focuses. Oh, there we go. Right there. I think that's really cool that they got that, you know, so well done in you know a, a small scale action figure um, well it's obviously not a small scale but it's not a hot toys either so I'm just really like wow looks really good for you know for what it is uh, so let's go ahead and look at his articulation so looking at his head articulation he can look all the way to the right all the way to the left get a little exorcism right there you can look down that much and he can look up that much the cool thing about this one is not only does he have that hinge there but he has one in the neck too so you can actually get like some forward and back movement like that so that's really cool uh, looking at his arm articulation whoops let's get the camera to focus it goes up about that much um, this arm, not so much because the armor plate and his strap gets in the way, but here the armor plate goes above the shoulder and gives you a little more leeway, single hinge elbow joint, the, whoops, let's come on, focus, the firing hand hinges up and down, the blaster hand, he has... He has a little ab rotation, but it's hindered by the satchel right there, the strap. Uh, he does have ab crunch, as you can see. His legs go out that far. Whoops, bent the knee. Whoops, come on, focus. That far back. That far forward. He does have double hinged knees. Ankle articulation all the way down, all the way up, and the rocker. So, what'd you expect from a basic Black Series figure? But very well detailed, very well looking, um, in my opinion. So, let's go ahead, let's go and take some pics of this guy, and we'll be right back. Actually, guys, before we do that, I forgot I told you I was going to bring the other figure for comparison. So, before we go and take some pics, let me go ahead and do that. So, here they, here they are, side by side, two Black Series Mandalorians. You know what? Hold on. Alright, there they are, side by side. And so... Oops, my lighting. So the blaster that he comes with is actually black in the middle too, so never mind about that being replaced with Beskar. Um, that was my mistake. Uh, but, once again, the lighting. <laughs> uh, but anyways, guys, looking at the two side by side, it's easy to see the differences um, and where the improvements and the upgrades were made in the armor. Um, even in his gloves, if you look, they're black on the best car armor and they're more grayish to match his under, um, I guess, under armor wear. Uh, and the one on the best car is black as well, is under armor wear. Uh, I don't really know what to call it, but the stuff that he has underneath, not the armor pieces, but you know, the clothing right there, that's black. It's more of a grayish and his gloves represent the same thing um, so yeah guys I am super happy to have both these figures I've actually just ordered like four stormtroopers from Amazon from the new wave so I'm super excited to get those in and get some really cool toy photography pics of these guys with them along with my heavy Mando and I did happen to score the armor from the Hasbro Pulse exclusive version with all the extra accessories so 
can't wait for her to come in too and then I could do a whole photo shoot for Mando and um, everything else associated with the Mandalorian. Uh, so yeah, with that being said guys, now let's go ahead and take this guy outside and take some pics and we'll be right back. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find more over at Cool Figures on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I am your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.